Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to Project Hospital episode number four, I believe we're on now. Okay, so we've opened the sexual ed clinic. Uh, I did open the kind of uh, accident emergency for general hospitalization uh, in the last episode. This episode, what are we going to do? We need to, um, well, we're starting to get a little bit of a queue of people. Everyone's kind of busy. I don't know, is it worth just getting another doctor in uh, very quickly on the short term? Um, it doesn't have to be... Um, I mean, you're kidding me, right? There's only this guy who's any good at anything, so we'll take him. Um, and I'll free up another doctor to try and get some more patients in as quick as we can. I got some people here waiting for bloods and stuff. Nice. Sexual clinic is doing okay. They seem pretty happy enough. Right. Can't believe we've got nobody in here. Nobody. Okay, so we've unlocked some administration uh, buildings. So if we just go have a look what they gives us. So we've got uh, the pharmacy service office. This room allows you to hire a manager who increases the overall efficiency of all janitors. Uh, we've got the gift shop that can be opened up here. Study room. Uh, so we can train employees and the cafeterias. Again, uh, these are quite important rooms. Uh, but what I want to do is probably open up a pharmacy first. I mean, there's not much in there, is there really? How big are you? Right. Okay, so the pharmacy can be opened and it looks like it will fit along some edge here. I've got to think about how we're going to do the next corridor. Normally it's easy to keep corridors going off corridors. Um, Maybe that's what we do. Now, the only reason why I want the pharmacy is I think it can make money fast that is my idea but then I, I should make it probably a little bit bigger okay so the chances are now i'm going to make this myself and the reason for that is very simple i want to try and make it as even to this as i can i, I don't have any foundation uh, so foundation is always a good help okay so if i was to go from there to there that would be more than big enough for the shop so We'll make it a decent size one. There we go. Um, floor in. What, what kind of floor can we put in here? It's something, something different colored. I don't know. Is that too dark? Nah, I think that's okay. I want it to be a little bit different. And hospital walls is this one, isn't it? So I'm going to put you across here for now. Down here. We're just going to cover you up. I'm going to lift the walls and I'm going to go through our doors. Double door glass. Yeah, I think that's fine. What have we got here glass wise? Quite like this being quite an open uh, kind of shop. At the front. I think that is okay. I just realized there's no windows in these, so why don't we put some windows in? Uh, yeah, put a window in there. You know, these people might be quite sick, but it's still nice to have a window or two. Hey, you don't want windows in these kind of rooms, though. You've all got windows. <laughs> You've got no windows. It's like a prison in here. We'll give him a window. I need to sort out the back wall here. Uh, and at the moment, I still don't need any uh, second doctor, I don't think. I don't think he's that busy. Okay, so let's go to admin and we're going to make a pharmacy. So I know I can put my pharmacy in here. That's all good. All I need now is the equipment for today. So what do we need? We need a counter advice, counter drop off, counter right. Okay, so. Uh, where are we going to put our counters? And I think if we just put one person in there for now, I, I think it'll, it'll still be profitable. Um, Let's give them a half decent PC. Okay, so they're going to want some drug shelves. 
Now this is important because we want to make sure they're looked after. I guess this is stores a little bit big. Nice. Can I not stick you off the glass? Well, that is just brutal. Okay, so I don't like what I've done in here already. Uh, give this lady a printer. Dog shelf small. So there's some here. I'm assuming they can just shop off these ones. Um... I thought there might be some more stuff that would come with this. Okay, it looks it looks terrible, but we're gonna go with this for a minute. Um get someone in here during the day. Why are none of you any good at anything? It'll have to be you, mate. It will have to be you. Okay. Now, I think that was money kind of spent well. So I'm hoping these people now will go to the pharmacy to get stuff, right? We will see how that goes. Okay, we're getting a nice little queue here now. See, now he's going into the pharmacy. Yeah, there we go. That's what we want to see. That was $140. What the hell? Always on the brakes. It's twenty dollars, forty, thirty dollars, thirty dollars. Okay, so look, that is ooh. Someone's just got moved into uh, observations. What do they think's wrong with her? Yeah, not sure. Okay, where does he keep buggering off to? Bathroom. I feel like this shop can be way smaller. Or we can put in another desk, maybe. We'll, we'll work it out. Once I got a bit of money, we'll definitely work it out a bit better. Okay, my doctor's doing a good job, though. We seem to have done all the patients that were available today. Uh, not so well up here. Okay, we could be looking at getting another doctor then. Oh no, he's, they're coping, they're coping. There we go, $200. Wow. Three more patients. He's done a good job, that guy. He's on the limit, though. Making some good money, actually. Two patients waiting. Oh, they bloody waiting. I'd love to know. 
Okay, somebody's in trauma. Interesting to see what happens here. One with uh, critical workload. That seems alright, doesn't it? I just want to see how much we get out of her because the night nurse probably has to move her now. Yeah. Into observation. Patient can't be released from observation. Patient could continue the emergency clinic, but is currently closed. Try to hospitalize the patient at the department instead. Who was that? What are we gonna? What were we making out of her then? Jesus Christ! She's not in a good way, is she? He gave me two hundred dollars for staying the night. I don't know what this woman's worth. I don't think we made enough money to cover our bills. Okay, well, we're doing all right. Maybe it's time we buy an ambulance. I could put a night doctor on here and put a night receptionist on. I don't know if it's worth it though. Maybe it is. Is it worth putting a night doctor on? Who the hell is goddamn cheap? I mean, you need to be half decent. Okay. Patients are accepted 24 hours a day now. We're not going to open up all rooms. They may have to just sleep the night. I'd still like to know what's going on with this one. It looks like she needs to go over to the uh, clinic. The sexual clinic. Okay, first load of people are coming in for the day. We are in debt. <laughs> Why are we not making enough money? This doesn't help. It, uh, I really don't want to do it, but I feel like we're going to have to take a loan. Now that breaks my heart. I mean, these aren't even doing anything. Okay, Richard Lewis. I'm not sure which influenza you've got. I mean, he's not critically ill, is he? He's uninsured, though. He, he's having a bad day. Okay, let's put him into active treatment and then I think we can ask for something else. Yeah. 
Please don't die. Wait till he gets in here. You're telling me you're gonna leave? Just give him friggin' everything. Okay, bang, he's going to a new hospital. Oh, screw ya. Hey, somebody... Okay. <laughs> Obviously, that means I don't get any money for that, right? Okay, I, I think we're going to have to take a loan, alright? Let's take a 60,000 loan. And... Let's see what's worth putting together next. So I still have some radiology rooms. And the one that we don't have are things like these... Cardiograph and Sonograph. And these are only very small rooms. Six by six. There's no reason... Why I can't fit you in. Can I... Ah! The MRI fits in perfect there. What is that MRI worth though? 60,000. I think I'd rather get these two units put in. And hope for the best. Now, I think it will be a case. Let's try and build them ourselves. What, what size do they actually... Well, hang on. Why are these not even in here? That's the wrong one. We really want radiology. 5x4, five 5x4. By four, five by four. What, what are you? 5x4. Five by four. So you, you're perfect. You're going to fit in there. And the cardiograph can go in there. It's a little bit bigger. It's okay. Uh, if we go into the build, then we're going to our walls. I believe they've got blue walls. Okay. Like so. Um, we can put some doors on. What doors are we normally going for? Door with window by the looks of things. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think this is a good idea by us. I think we try and get some more diagnosis equipment in. Again, I think they're using these kind of blue floors. Nice. And I think it will help us a lot. It would help even more if I put it in first. Uh, okay, so we need an office desk. As always. Uh, it needs a PC. Top of the range, as always. Uh, we give him a printer. He needs an exam bed. Uh, where's the best place to put you? Probably somewhere like that. He needs the USG thing, which is there. Uh, examination light, which is up here. The mobile cabinet. There. ECG. Okay, we need some sort of... Alright, first of all, let's put the bin in. Uh, he needs a sink. We'll give him a sink. PC just needs the chair. Uh, it does look like he needs a couple of tables. And we can put the ECG on that one. What is it missing?
The ECG's on that. So confused. Right. So you tell me I need to move up a little bit. Possible. And that wants the ECG on it. God's sake, now I've got to move my sink. Come when the rooms are a bit small. I wouldn't say if it goes to plan. Okay, that room is going to work now, right? Fingers crossed. Get someone in here during the day. I think it's just worth paying for someone a bit better. So there we go. We've got a new clinic available. Does that help anybody? Probably not. Oh, there's a bit of a queue going on here now. All coming for x-rays by the looks of things. But hey, somebody's having this thing done. I think everything's okay, right? You know, we're getting some patients over here. Uh, maybe we do want an ambulance, right? Hey, we've got a senior janitor. Okay. It's just 34 grand. I think it's too much. Not when we're not doing enough. I mean, no one's even that busy. This guy's not done anything since I put him in. Oh, here we go. He's got a patient, but oh, okay, fair enough. She's getting wheeled away. So we should go on to our first night shift. And you have one of these rooms is going to be a bit of a problem. So that, yeah. Cool, we can we can get people twenty four hours a day now. I feel like it wasn't really worth it though. Well, that is uh brutal. I mean, we're, we're very close to doing what we need to do. Okay, patient numbers are back to normal. That's good.
Treat 20 patients at emergency. We're trying. Open hospitalization. Okay, so I could turn down to hospitalization, but I, it's not worth that one, I don't think. I mean, I'm sure it's not hard now to change radiology into hospitalization. No, we can't do that. That's not allowed. Okay, so let's get this sonograph put in. It's going to be tight, this room, because it is pretty damn small. Um, but we'll, we'll work it out as we go. Let's get them a PC. Uh, let's get them a printer. Money is dwindling. Okay, that is in. You're in. Wall mounted equipment. There you go. Pretty sure they can get to that. Printer is in. No, they can't. That's not a good spot for that. Uh, medical light. We need a lab sink. We need a bin. We need some shockwave machinery thingamabobber. Maybe I can put you there. Exam table's not happy. I'm not quite sure what it wants me to do about it. How the hell am I supposed to fit all this in? <laughs> uh, okay, let's just bring all of you off for a minute. Let's rethink this room. I'm not too worried about that being where that is. Maybe if I flip this. No, you're not happy about that either, are you? Okay, just remember there's a cabinet outside. I'll put you out there. Okay, so... There's no way to gain access. Has to go the other way, this room, doesn't it? You should always put in the equipment first, desk last, I think. I mean, it must fit. Just too tight. Now I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay. What you sent to me is that would have to go there. You would go there. Examination light would go on top. USG there. Small table here. Shockwave therapy here. So that's now working. All right, bloody hell. Uh, can I get a desk in? 
Jesus. I don't even know if the chair's gonna go in. Alright, alright, alright. We're getting somewhere. It looks like it's working. Give them the laptop. And the printer. Mobile cabinet. Uh, these can go. Get you off the wall. In there. Boom. They're not working yet. I, mean, I still need a sink. And a bin. Uh, sink. And a bin. Right. That room will work now. Jesus. Someone that's good at USG. Bloody nobody again. Okay, that costs us a lot of money. But diagnoses now should be a lot better. What have we got over here? Nausea, fatigue, weakness. Uh, yeah, he's waiting for his USG now. Very busy cleaner. Thinking we may need to have another night cleaner or day cleaner. Let's get a night cleaner for here. I don't care as long as you are dirt cheap. Don't want to spend any more money on these people. Can help it. Look at this one. So he's gone now, is it? Waited too long. Ah, screw you. What do you want me to do? Hey, the night doctor saw somebody. Where's he going? Oh, he needs something. He's having an x ray. Here we go. Numbers are up again by the looks of it. Okay, we'll just see how we kind of go with this. I mean, this is easily making money. A real good idea, I think, by myself. Possible is quite dirty. Hey, someone leveled up. Oh, looking over here. Anybody?
I think radiology is nearly pointless. I feel like it does nothing. So many doctors just sitting idle. I really need to get patients up here, don't I? How can I do it? I need to do this, don't I? I really don't think this place needs to have hospitalization, but... You know... I don't think we're going to have a lot of choice here. I don't know if I can use the same prefabs. It means I need to have a doctor on call and a nurse on call all day. Oh, it's just so much money. Those 15 patients will get us over the line with those other ones. Well, Dr. Lee. Um... Yeah, I think sexual health is just a day thing. I don't I don't I think having it hospitalized is just stupid. So our best thing would be to open another clinic. The plastic surgery make us some money. We need a high dependency unit, high level medical care for hospitalized patients. I suppose that's nearly the same with this trauma, isn't it? I need an operating room. How much will all this cost? If we were to go for general surgery, then we need five grand operating rooms going to cost us 25, 12. Uh, I mean, again, diagnosis, operation lounge. Yeah, they're, they're all going to cost the same wherever I do next. Apart from this stuff. This stuff is bloody expensive. Okay. That's when people die. Neurology. I think we want to really do general. Now, where would I put general hospital? Would I put it down this end? Possibly this end? I don't have a lot of money left already. 36,000. Everyone's going out. Cleaners will be cleaning over time. I'm sure I hired two, right? Oh, here's that other cleaner. He was on a break doing something. Oh good. We're going to be getting less payments now too. Oh, we're near the end of another episode and uh, I'm struggling a little bit on 
what we should do next. I mean, we can we can come out here for sure. Do we just go? Insurance claim it gives us two hundred. What? Okay, we're going crazy here. Three hundred thousand, three grand a day. Ooh, hope I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's go to prefabs. We're going to go for general surgery. Um, I believe they need their own surgery. Surgery. Okay, what's this guy? Intensive care unit. We could go intensive care actually. Fifty eight thousand. Yeah. Intensive care. Is that what we go for here now? Hospitalization. Nurse and doctors. It's doable. A lot of money. But it's more than doable. Okay, so what I'm going to do... We're going to go for it. We're going to go for the on-call room. Let's get that nurse's station thrown in as well. And then I'm going to go for the bigger ICU. Where are the doors? That looks like the doors. All right, are you in line with that one? I think that's it, isn't it? 58 grand. Um... Blow up some of these foundations here. No. Never listens. There we go. Um, no, no, it's not that important right now, but let's get the walls up. I think it'd be great to put the wall across here. They've really got the back wall put in. All right, let's just close you off for the minute. So it kind of looks like a hospital. Uh, we'll put in our white floor. Right. We need a half decent doctor for daytime. A half decent nurse for the daytime too would be great. Patient care is not bad. You, you know, you're a little bit better. Patient care? Boom. You're hired. Uh, night staff then. We need a night doctor. Again, I'm not too worried about how good you are at night. I don't think we're busy enough to be worrying about our stuff. Someone with half decent patient care. Uh, yeah, we'll go for you. You're cheap. Okay, so technically I've just hospitalized a new area, no? It needs a stinking cleaning closet. And that closet needs a foundation. And then it can have a wall. And then if we go down here, you should be red like the normal hospital. 
put your red in here too. We'll give him a wooden floor. A door. And a shelf and a bucket. If I go back into you now, if I get you a day cleaner and a night cleaner, cheap as possible. I don't think that went quite as how I wanted it to go. I've just wasted all that money. Why are you not bringing in people? What are you doing? Okay, the cleaners are just about keeping up with the, the flooring. I feel like I did this. Right, okay, I'm going to leave it here for today, then we'll see how we go. If you are enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, upload nearly every single day. I love myself, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.